The question is, use two steps of Euler's method with h equals a half to approximate the value of y of 1 if y of 0 is 2 and dy on dx is x squared on 10. And b, solve the differential equation in a directly and compare the exact answer to that obtained by using Euler's method. Okay, so the question is, what is Euler's method? I seem to remember that it has something to do with um, using the average slope to estimate the derivative. So the derivative of a function x is approximately equal to f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Because of course um, that's the thing you would do, do the limit of to find f dash x, so it must be approximately equal to f dash x. And Euler's method um, um, uses some of those values to figure out the next one. So with Euler's method, you know what f dashed of x is, and you know what f of x is, and you use it to figure out what f of x plus h is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll rearrange that formula. So multiplying both sides by h, just let me take the green off. Multiplying both sides by h gives me h of f dash x is approximately equal to f of x plus h minus f of x. And then adding f of x to both sides give me f of x plus h of f dash of x is approximately equal to f of x plus h. And so using um, f of x and h and f dash of x, I can find um, an approximation for f of x plus h. So that's pretty good. So I reckon I now can have a pretty good handle on how Euler's method works. Euler's method. All right, in order to do Euler's method, we need to know um, the value of f of a for some a and a formula for f dashed of x. Okay, and what we want is the value of f of b for some other b. And what we do is we divide the interval from a to b into steps of width h and successive sorry successively successively calculate f of a f of a plus h f of a plus 2h and so on all the way up to f of b using the above formula. This formula here. Okay, so let's actually do it for our example. I'll just start a new page. So for ours, what do we know? We know that y of 0 is 2, so there's the value of um, y, f of a, we've got y of 0, and the formula for y dash of x, that would be dy on dx, which is x squared on 10. Okay, and we want um, y1. Okay, so what we do is we divide 0, 1 into steps of width h equals a half. So what would that be? That would be 0 
and a half and one. Okay. All right. And then I successively calculate um, y of each of those values. So I know what y of zero is. That's two. And now I want to calculate what y of a half is. So y of a half would be, according to my formula, would be y of the previous step of 0 plus h, which is a half, times y dashed of 0. Well, I know what y of 0 is. That's 2 plus a half times, oh, I need y dashed of 0. All right, just a second. Let me turn all of this into a table. Okay, so y dashed of 0 would be 0 squared over 10 using the formula, which would be 0. So down here, y dashed of 0 is 0, so I get 2. All right, now I use that value to calculate y of 1. So y of 1 is approximately equal to y of the previous step plus h times y dashed of the previous step. Now y of the previous step was 2 plus half times, oh, I need y dashed of 2. So y, sorry, y dashed of a half. y dashed of a half would be a half squared over 10, which would be a quarter over 10, which would be a 40th. So a half times a 40th, which is 2 plus an 80th, which comes out on my calculator 2. 2.0125. And of course, if I wanted to use h of a half, I could keep going and find out what y of one and a half is as an approximation. But that's what we've done there. So Euler's method gives us 2.0125. So let me do part b now. Okay. So part b says we want to solve it directly. So um, dy on dx is x squared on 10. And what we want to do is just integrate to find out what y is. So integrate this side gives me y. Integrate this side. So let's see. Um, I've got a tenth. That's just a constant. Power up by 1, which would give me x cubed. Divide by new power like that plus c. So y is equal to a 30th of x cubed plus c. How do I find out what c is? I could sub in a value for x. So I know that y of 0 would be a 30th of 0 cubed plus c, which would be come out to 2, because that's what I know that y of 0 is 2. So c equals 2. Therefore, y is equal to a 30th of x cubed plus 2. Okay? And so what I want, um, so therefore, y of 1, which is what I needed to find out, would be a 30th of 1 cubed plus 2, which is 2 and a 30th, which is approximately equal to 2.0333. Okay, what do I have to do now? Compare the exact answer to that obtained using Euler's method. So from Euler's method, y of 1 is equal to, well, let's just go back and have a look. Oops. y of 1 is 2.0125. Okay, so we compare these two answers. Well, Euler's method only gave me one decimal place accuracy. So, and that's the end of the problem.